what, what kind of person we've become that we ignore the homeless so badly that they're living in sewage and underground and they're dying there. Clearly they're dying there. Neighbors outraged after bones are found under Tulsa streets. Uh, it's really quite eerie uh, being down here. Two News sent our reporting team under the streets of Tulsa to show you what police are concerned about tonight. Police are investigating right now after human remains were found in a manhole today. Traffic was shut down near 81st and Riverside during the search for clues. The investigation began after a skull was found near River Spirit Casino a few weeks ago. Detectives found a few bones scattered in the tunnel, but there's no indication of foul play. Now, during this investigation, police found an underground village where the homeless set up shelter in the city's stormwater tunnels. Two News reporter Nathan Edwards spent the day inside those tunnels, and he joins us live in South Tulsa tonight. Nathan? We drive over these roads every day, but little did we know is that there are homes literally underneath our feet. It's dark, damp, and eerie as we explore these winding tunnels. Looks like uh, somebody might have hung up some clothes in here. Signs of life are scattered all over the place. You have a couple lawn chairs right here, which seem to be what the area was for the bed, a pillow, some blankets. It's an underground world that dozens call home. There are people that live down here. Uh, when we searched it out that Sunday, we did find live bodies that were waking up for the day. Today, this was a crime scene as police searched through these belongings and found bones in the tunnel system. When the body came out, probably it was because of the heavy rains that came out from that spillway there and traveled towards the river. And while it's not clear what killed him, it's hard to believe someone could live in these conditions. You could just tell how high the water was coming through here by the debris on the shopping cart. Uh, the shopping cart, this is about you know, two or three feet off the ground, and you can see it's completely covered with leaves that would have been pushed through uh, with the water here in the tunnel system, um, which could you know, pose a potentially dangerous or life-threatening circumstance for anybody who's living down here. Well, there is some evidence that people are still leave, living down there, but while we were down there, we didn't see a single soul. Reporting live in South Tulsa, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Nathan. Now, 2 News sent out a mobile push alert on this story as soon as it broke this morning. You can sign up for breaking news alerts by downloading our 2 News app. It's in the iTunes store or the Android market. New